Welcome, welcome. So tonight, since we're doing pants, we thought we'd back it up and um, do it in front of no table because otherwise you can't see the pants and we want you to see the pants. So our, our, what, our topic tonight is 3120. I, gotta, I don't have a table, so I'm gonna do this out of my hand. 3120 Tommy's Wrap Pants. I love this pattern. Uh, this pattern to me just says fun all the way home. So we're gonna just, I think the most important thing about this pattern is really not the pattern. I, I've got some tips for you and I'll answer questions, but it's really more about how you wear it. What do you wear it with? Um, casual, dressy, you know, those different things. And that's really what I felt like was more important. The pants, honestly, I think you could make six pairs in a day. It's so, they're so fast. They're so quick and easy. They're just really, really fun to make. And of course, clearly see I chose all prints for the bottoms except for the ones I have on because I really wanted you to see variables of different fabrics and the uses of them. So we're just gonna have fun tonight. We're gonna walk along. We're gonna show you the different um, looks. And so then you can decide what works for you. And I do think that you know, one of the things I love about the fabric store, the store of fabrics, is just talking to you all and just having you come in and you share your opinions. And some of them really kind of hurt my feelings, but you know what? It's your thoughts and your opinions, and I like that, and I have great respect for it. So I just love it. I'm going to share some of those thoughts and feelings today. So just know that we're all different and we get to dress the way we want, and that's the good news. Okay, so we're going to start with 3120. Um, 3120 is Tommy's wrap pants. Its origin was Tommy Bahama because they had this really beautiful like denim -y type wrap and I love summertime. I love feeling like I have next to nothing on my body and so this was really just a really great concept to me. It came out in the summer. I don't remember when but it was one of our spring patterns and it's done really well over the years. Okay, so please, um, by all means, ask, oh, ask questions as we go along. Also, I forgot, um, we have a couple patterns that were donated, and we decided instead of, these are our um, PBS, they're a support pattern, and we only have like 20 sets left. There's very few left, and it's 145 and 313. And I promise I'll put a new cover. This one's gotten kind of beat up. By the time we ship it to them and they ship it back to us, it's gotten kind of beat up. So pattern number 313, which is Terry's top, which you guys know I love, and 145, St. John's top, which is kind of like a cowl neck layered over um, a, a T-shirt. We're going to give each of these away. So what that, the reason I'm telling you now, we'll do it about 830. And you have to be logged into YouTube in order to be able to win these patterns. You know, we'll give you the code word and all of that stuff, but just know that you have to be logged in. So if you're just casually watching and you feel like you wanna try to win, um, go ahead and get logged in, and that way when we do it, you'll be ready. Okay, so I'll put those patterns to the back. So again, 3120 Tommy's wrap pants. All right, so let's just start. Let's start with our little friend here. Um, well, I want to sure first show you this very first picture, which is Tommy Bahama's pants. It was um, a, a picture that I'd had a long time ago, and I printed it again just so that you all could see. And you can see that it's meant to be um, a little tube top, just a real casual, but I really f am strong. I have strong feelings that a pattern is not, um, a pattern has no season to it. A pattern is seasonless, and you can really do it in different fabrics. And as I stand here in black tie pants, um, you know, it just depends on the fabric you make it up in. So I want you to kind of take in all of these different looks. So I want you to look at these next one, these next picture. And I think this pair is so pretty. We have that red fabric that I did my red blouse in. And these pants could easily be done in that red. They're just so pretty. I love the, just the monochromatic look of it. And you can see that even though there has a casual shoe, even though there's a casual top on it, it's still because it's solid and the fabric is a little dressy, has a dressier trend to it. So I do think it's that fabric that gives it more direction rather than the pattern itself. All right, then let's look at the next one. I just wanted you to get some ideas of how many wrap pants there are out there. If you search for wrap pants summer 2022, they're, they're all, there's tons. I mean, I could have made 40 pairs, easy. There's so many different looks and, and they're just cute. Um, because a lot of them have 
like tube tops and just kind of nothing with them. That's really why I wanted to take an opportunity to show you nothing wrong with a tube top. Um, it just for me, I, I would wear a tube top. I would just wear a little cardi over it. So I just wanted to kind of show you those differences. Okay, then the next one is where I want to go to. And you can see that that is a striped pair, that next photo. Yep, that's up, sorry. I, I can't see because of the light. But anyway, it's, um, it's a striped pair. And so it got me thinking, okay, let's talk about what kind of fabrics we could use that were striped or plaid or bias because there's so many options. So just understanding the pattern, what happens is the back wraps around to the front. So there's no side seam on this panel. Um, and if you kind of lift that, you can see a little peekaboo. I did this in a plaid. This fabric is 5463, and I just love this. I had made this, you guys saw this a little bit ago, and I thought this would be a really cute little top to wear with it. Or, you know, you could make something to match, but you can see that those colors just red blend really beautifully. I don't even remember what color, what fabric the gold is, but it's a gold knit and um, I just really like it. So you can see that this, this is a linen cotton blend, this pant, and it's lightweight. And it's almost like a pool pant. I think it'd be great just at the pool with whatever swimsuit top you were wearing. And I think that would be a great combination. When I cut this out to, just align all of these, um, you know, all the plaids. Just put the top of the pant, the front and the back, at the same place. And the rest of the entire pant, even the inseam, everything will match. Everything will line up. It won't be any problem. Just, just the pant front and the pant back, just go ahead and put it at the same place, and then the rest of it will all line up. Really easy to sew. And if you wanted to, you know, when you walk, the pants give a little exposure. If it's too much exposure for you, you can just stitch this down. You know, you can stitch down and make them as modest as you want. So right along here, you could stitch down just as far as you can go. And you can see, you could easily wear these with just a pair of sandals, or you could put it on with a dressy little top and, you know, go from there. Okay, question. All right. Um, how does it connect in the back? So it's just a pair of yoga pants. It's, it's like Jag's woven pants. The back is just, um, let me put this down. I can turn this around for you. Easier said than done. So see, this is just a regular pant back. In fact, from the back, it looks like just a regular pair of pants. It, you wouldn't know it's a wrap pair of pants if you just had a back view. It's only until you get to the side and the front that you start to see that it's a wrap pant. And then it just has, it's meant for a woven fabric, but obviously the reason I did so many different ones is so you could see that wovens or knits, they both work. And I did not change my sizing when I went from one fabric to another simply because you don't need to. It's all in the waistband. The fit is really all in the waistband, and then the rest of the pant just hangs, hangs out, hangs loose. I love these pants. I just love these pants. Talk about pajama pants. It's, although you wouldn't want to wear them to bed because they would be up around your waist. They wouldn't stay down. Okay. All right. Do these pants look good on shorter? Absolutely. Especially, yeah, absolutely. There's no reason why um, shorter people can't be left out. However, that's why tonight I really wanted to talk about outfits because um, as we get down to the end I'll show you a picture of where that came from Robin Roberts had on that white with the black and a white top and so it really gives her height even though she doesn't need height but I'll show I'll talk about that here in just a little bit but I appreciate the question um, can you use the brown oh <laughs> sorry um, yes my I'm getting suggestions as to where I could put all my stuff. Great idea. Thank you. And I don't have to hold them. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay. So any questions on this one? Very easy. You can see the stripe is going across or the plaid is going across. I think again, it is, and because you don't have any side seam, you don't have anything to line up there. And again, all you have to do is put the waist at the same place, both the front and the back. And then as you sew them, they'll automatically be into place. Okay, so that's striped, that's plaid. I, I was tempted to take that whole side, 
the whole back piece and put on a bias. I thought that would be just adorable and I just didn't. I, I stayed with the matching for this time around. All right, so let's look at this next photo and see. This is where I got all my inspiration. Um, I shopped, I tried on, I had a lot of fun. Okay, so this next one, it is, I, I guess I didn't put the mannequins in order, but anyway, let's go down to the bottom, to the end here. And this is, I, wanted to, I want you to look at this picture because that's where I first saw it. And um, a lot of times when I wake up in the morning, I'm trying to get the weather first thing and I'll turn on to get the weather. And this particular morning I caught this outfit and I loved it. I thought it was just really cute. This is Robin Roberts. Um, she's an anchor on GMA. And she dresses really well. She really has a good look most of the time. So I loved what she did here. I, I want to show you one exception. So in that particular pant, I want you to see that the waistband, it's the exact pattern. I mean, there's literally no difference. The, the, pat, the belt that goes across, it's not a belt, it's the waistband. Um, they did in a black. And when you see she had on, she has on this, she, it's not actually the same fabric because I actually traced back to see how kind of matchy-matchy she was. And it, it's not the same fabric, it's just a blouse that she bought to go with it. Um, and so don't get too matchy-matchy. I think it's a mistake to get too matchy-matchy. But what I did is I actually made this waistband white because my thinking was it would actually give, that black has a break. If you look at this next picture, I think there's another picture of it. Yeah, so when I looked at this, I thought, you know, I don't know if I like that black waistband because I felt like maybe it was just a little bit of a break and if it was all white, it'd be give a little bit more monochromatic. So I did the front, I did the back waistband black, but I did the front waistband white. And I don't, I actually like the black now that I've done it. I think it just, um, I don't know, I think it just lends itself to, it almost looks like a belt and the belt is very flattering. I think it's a very flattering look. So I would change my mind and I would go back and do the black. But having said that, now that I've done it, you guys can decide what you like. But when we're talking shorter and trying to look taller, then to do that white is definitely a better look than, than to do it black. Or the other thing you could do is you could take the, black, the waistband and make it a little bit thinner so that it's less of a eye interruption than it is. Those fabrics, just so you know, the white is 5502 and the black knit is what I used for the back is 5494. You do not have to use a knit. I just used a knit because I just love the drape. And to me, this pant is all about the drape. And so that's what I was trying to do is get a really good drape on it. Okay, let's go ahead and answer a couple questions. All right, what happens when you sit down in them? Do they fall open all the way to your thigh? They do. They do. I'm going to tell you from experience, they do. But this is a really easy thing to remedy, you guys. Um, so yeah, when you sit down, and I'm not going to model it for you because I don't want to do that. <laughs> So the ones I have on, I actually wore to, um, to an event, and it was something that I, they were perfect. They were just perfect for this event that I was going to. Um, and what I, so I was just careful. I wanted them open because I wanted them to be open, but I, I was very careful. And when I sat down, if you just take your hand right here and just hold it, just kind of like you would a little skirt. If you just hold it like this and then you go to sit, you're completely covered. It's completely modest. If you're not careful, then you show more leg or a lot of leg, which depending on what you want to do. But it's very easy to be careful because where it wraps in the front is right where your hands are. So it's very easy to control. So if there's a wind, which there was in the case where I went to, it's very easy to just sit. And it, it doesn't look like you're holding them closed. It just, you know, it's not a big deal. Very easy to do. The other thing, I said earlier, I'm going to say it again, I might say it a third time, is literally put them on and then just take some pins and just pin where you want them to stay because this portion right there is top stitched. This right here is top stitched and you could just stitch on that again or you could just tack it in a couple places or tack it in one place, the lowest that you want it to open and they'll stay closed. So don't not do it because you think they're too fly away or too opening because you can control that and you can keep them as closed as you want, okay? All right, are they tricky to fit as regular pants? No, there's no tricky fit to them at all, not at all. They're, these are not, 
these are not a fitted pant. Uh, so they're elastic waist. Um, they're slimmer at the bottom, so they're very flattering for that reason. And I mean, I've got them on, so you guys kind of know what I look like, and you can tell me if you like them or not. Well, you don't have to tell me, but you can tell <laughs> if you like them or not. Can you demo how you put them on, please? No, I can't, because I'd have to take them off. <gasps> so, sorry, you, they're just elastic pants. You just pull them up, okay? They're not any big deal. Here, see, they're just open at the side, but other than that, they're just elastic pants, and you just put them off. And it has to be the all-time most aggressive question I've ever had. <laughs> All right, next. Um, how could we make the pant more straight and less curvy? Um, so talk to me about what do you mean less curvy? Where, where is it curvy to you? If you'll, like at the bottom, that's just the pattern how it curves over. If you look at this pair right here, I actually took this pair down. These are like little culottes. So they're shorter. I took nine inches off of these, and I just cut the bottom off straight. These are just fun. These are just these tie-dye. They're just really fun. OK, so let's get back to it. Would mixing knit and woven work well? I did. That is a black is a knit, and the white is a woven. You can mix anything, you guys. And, and here, I'm probably answering too many questions because we're answering all these questions. But I answered them in photo form for you so that you could kind of see. Um, and I've lost my little paper. <laughs> okay, so we've got the fabric numbers. Okay, we've got that. All right, let's look at this next one. Perfect. So what I wanted you to see was a border print that was used down the side. I thought they were adorable. So I used a border print down the side. Now these are hard to see because my man I don't have very many I don't have as many pant mannequins as I need, so I'm actually gonna take these off. I mean I wanted you to see the look, but I think you got it. So let me show you these. These are pretty cool. So the pants that you saw, um, those and, and let's look at the next picture. The next picture is a designer, you're probably familiar with this next designer called Johnny Was. Johnny Was started doing Johnny Was is the name of the line, Johnny and Was, W-A-S. They started doing embroidered tops, and they're, they're just like outrageously beautiful. They're so pretty. They're very pricey. Um, they, I don't know exactly where they started, but they've broken off, and now they have stores, et cetera, et cetera. So these, are, these pants show that. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. So there, Johnny Was, if you don't know their history, you'd probably look at that and think, oh, my goodness, that's like crazy. But they do a history of kind of, I'm going to call it hippie-like, kind of hippie-like clothing. It's beautifully done most of the time. As they've expanded, like I used to love everything they put out. And as they've expanded a little bit, I've noticed that there's some real not as good designs, in my opinion. Um, but this was a pair of pants. I don't like those two fabrics at all. But what I wanted you to see in this, these photos is you can really use any photo for the back and any, any fabric, I'm sorry, for the front, and any fabric for the back. So what I did is I decided a border print would be just adorable so that you can look at the fabric. This is pattern, or border, I'm sorry, it's 5504. 5504 is the fabric, and if you just look at the fabric, all I did was I ran the panel right down the side of the pant. So it became the back. If you look at the back, the back looks like that. But if you look at the side, you see you get the floral coming right down the front. The front, it looks like a contrasting fabric, but it's actually the same fabric. And I just love that. I love the, how the fabric worked in this particular pair. Um, but the goal is you could take any front and any back and mix them. And it can be knit or woven. It can be printer saw. And it can be, you know, then I thought about why couldn't you make one side one color and the other side the other color? And you could really have like a little trilogy of colors there. Keep in mind that, you know, it's so fun to do different designs that you really are free to do whatever you want to do. And also remember that my job is to give you the idea. Your job is to take it to the next level. Remember that? You guys got to remember that. OK. So that top, this um, top was 195. This top is 222. Just so I'm telling you the tops as we're going along. 222 is Carolyn's not keyhole top, okay? Okay, 
Would you shorten the pattern? How would you shorten the pattern eight inches? I'll show you that in just a minute. If you'll just let me get there. Um, what type of elastic do you recommend? So in every pair I used our two inch white elastic. We have white and black, and I used the appropriate color for the appropriate th pattern. What I did do though, because in some cases I made the waistband just a little bit narrower, and so I cut that elastic to be about an inch and a half, and I made the waistband just a little narrower. I love the pant, I love everything about it, and just sometimes I wanted a little skinnier waistband. So I reduced it in size, just, I didn't in that one, I did on this one, just to make it look a little less. Okay, so let's look and see what we've got now. Let's have a drawing. Yeah, let's kind of just take a breather and do a drawing. All right, so I draw in this first pattern, and tell me when you need, which one you're gonna do first. Oh, oh, good, I got it, I got it, I got it, okay? Okay, so we're gonna give away 145. This is St. John's Top. Um, remember that you, you're gonna put in 145. That's your code, 145. Don't put it in more than once because the computer will kick you out, you guys. Um, or we think, you know, we're pretty sure it will, but just don't do it because it's not fair. If you, don't ha if you have the pattern, don't try to win, please. This is for someone who hasn't had the pattern who will just love it, one, four, five. All right, we'll give you a few minutes and then the, the um, computer will select a winner. We have a, what's the guy behind, the, uh, Mr. An Oz? We have an Oz behind the curtain and the magical, whis Mr. mystical Oz will select a winner for us. All right, so all we have to do is stir the pot a little bit and it will. You know, it's fun to be in this fabric store because I look at all these fabrics that would make really fun pants. Aren't these adorable? This would be so cute. I know you guys can't see all this, but anyway. Okay. Yeah, let's call it good. We only need a minute because we're going to give away the other one too. One, four, five. Do we have a winner? If you already have it, um, don't, don't try to win it. I mean, you know, you don't want a second copy. Or I guess you can if you want. Or you can give it to somebody. But if you don't have it, if you're entering into this, there's only 20 sets left, so you need to go buy it, and we need the support of PBS, okay? Okay, so we have a winner. Christy Mitchell is our winner. Congratulations, Miss Christy Mitchell. So if, Christy, if you'll send me your name and address and just say I won number 145, okay? And then let's take a minute and let's give away the other one. And you guys, both of these have been donated by one of your fellow probably YouTube watchers, which I think is so nice because it's so generous. And they, my cord, sorry, is opening my pant. It's just really generous when they have a tendency to have enough and then they look for others who don't. I think it's just amazing. I love it. I really appreciate knowing you guys. It's really nice. Okay, so we've got a new code for this one. Are we okay? Nope, we're not okay. We'll just wait just a second. And then we'll go back to pictures. We're good? Okay, we're good. So we have a new code, and the new code, I guess you probably already know it, is 313. Okay. So 313 is the code. Put it in. Remember the rules. Only put it in once. If you already have it, don't do it again. Um, and, the go and Christy Mitchell, you can't win. Since you already won once tonight, let's let somebody else do that. And we'll see who wins, and we'll just give it a minute. And remember, for those of you watching after the fact, this is only live. I get so many people who just, you know, they type in below the YouTube comments, they type in the codes, and I feel so bad that it's already given away, it's already gone. And so, anyway, this is only for you watching live, and it's only for you who are logged in. That's not our rules, those are YouTube rules. Okay, so 313 is the next one we're gonna give away. And we're waiting. I'm being told to wait, to chill, to hold down. <laughs> we need a drum roll, please. <laughs> That's a terrible drum roll. Okay, all right. So we have a winner, and the winner is? If you snuck off to get a glass of wine, boy, you missed it both. <laughs> Okay, Vintage Home, is that their name? Just Vintage Home. Oh, cool, okay. So Just Vintage Home, whoever you are, if you'll send me an email, peggy at silhouettepatterns.com, 
and let me know that you won. Then we will get that out to you tomorrow, okay? And you can happily be sewing in no time. Okay. So let's now get to this next photo that I want to look at when you get a minute. And we got busy guys over there. Okay, I want you to look at this. This is an Ali Tahari and it's white on white. And that's why I said, uh, I mean, this is not exactly the pant, but just the, I wanted you to really see that for spring or for summer 2022, um, not only is the, are the pants very strong, they're really popular, but I wanted you to see all the variations. I love the sheer overlays, the tone on tone. I want you to notice that they're tucking tops in. Um, even if you tuck it in and like this is, there's a t-shirt and just blouse it a little bit. You blouse it over the elastic waist and it just looks so slimming and it's, it just looks really good. So there's not a figure type that can't wear it. I have a little heel on right now, but you could wear it with flats. You don't need the heels. You can wear it however you want. It's just up to you. I think it's really cute with little sandals. And again, it's that casual look, but you can kind of take it as dressy as you want it to be. Okay, so let's look at, um, that was Ellie Tahari. And all it did was inspire me to make this really wild pair. And this was the tie-dye pair that I did. The tie-dye is $54.95. I just decided to take the wildest fabric I knew. And my first thought was I was going to make a top that matches it. And once I did it, because I wanted it kind of to look like a little jumpsuit. Once I did it, I put on the pants. And then I took the fabric and wrapped it around the top of me, just the extra fabric. I hadn't cut out anything. And it really just was too wild. <laughs> it's too wild. For me, I think if you're going to do monochromatic, same top and bottom, you're better off to maybe not go wild. So I decided the white kind of toned it down a little bit and looks pretty good, looks pretty normal. Remember that printed bottoms are very on trend right now and they're really popular and they're really easy to do. I topped this off with classic blouse, 600, just in a white. Okay, so how you shorten it. Let's look at this next um, picture and it just shows you how to take those inches off. So you can see, now you've got a couple choices and this starts to be design and you can make those choices as you do the design. When I cut them off, um, you can see that they're, well you can see from the pattern photo that when you go to cut them off there's an angle there and I straightened up that angle a little bit. So I made that leg just a little bit more of a square leg. You can kind of see it here. So instead of it curving around and connecting at the bottom, now the reason I wanted to show you this is because you can take this line, you could drop it straight if you wanted to. No one says it has to go at an angle. The only reason I did that was just the original pant was like that. It was a design feature and I was just trying to give it, you know, I was just copying that original. But since there's so many ways to do this that you can see that, gosh, I can do anything with this. I go straight down, whatever I want to do, okay? Okay. All right, so I love this, kind of a red, white, and blue summery 4th of July look. I'll have those on on my little trip. Okay, so let's ask questions about, uh, I think I'd, that's all the pictures, right? Yep, we're good. We're good. So this, I thought about it. We should have a 20-minute webcast. I know we've gone on longer than that. But 20-minute webcast, so you have 40 minutes left because that's all it takes to sew a pair of pants. They're just really fast and they're really quick and easy. And they're fun and don't worry about fitting. Just literally, like they're an elastic waist. So go by the hips, you know, just you, you don't want to have them extra over your hip. You don't need to have them extra over your hip. Just pick the size that works for your hip. Don't do any fitting, just make the first pair. So when I did that, this was my first pair and then you can, kind of tweak how far you want to wrap. They wrap to about one inch from center front, as you can see. Um, and they're just easy. They're just so easy to make. I finished all my edges. I thought to myself, how I'm getting really boring. I should have done some alternative edges because you could put lace on here. You could put all kinds of trimming and beads and fringe and goodness gracious. We could go on and on. But like I said, I got my boring self out and that's all I came up with, okay. Okay, let's answer some questions. Would it be more slimming 
to have the lighter, brighter color on the inside of the leg and the darker color on the outside of the leg. Well, I thought that's what I did. That's why the white. I appreciate you bringing that up. That's why this is so good. Because the darker color is on the outside, which is going over your hips and rear end, and the lighter color is on the inside. Then you want the lighter color brought up to the top and accentuate the darker on the outside. Now that's all up to you, but that's the way the rules are to look your slimmest. That's the way to do it. Yes. Okay. Good for you. Good job. Question. When will the summer reprint pack, <laughs> I can't read that, reprint pack be shipped out? Well, technically we told you it would be shipped out tomorrow. And I'm picking them up tomorrow, but we won't get them shipped out tomorrow. Uh, not all of them. So I would say expect it through Monday. And for those of you who are just wanting those patterns, because there's seven patterns that it involves that we're reprinting, give us till Monday to get them up on the website. But soon, we're, like I said, it was, our deadline was the 15th, or we told you all we would ship on the 15th, which is tomorrow. Um, and I am picking them up, but it's going to eh, give us a couple days to get them all shipped out. But soon, they're coming. <gasps> we're excited. Another whole set of patterns that we are reprinting, which is really exciting. How did you finish the edges? So in every case, because um, I wanted the edge to have some weight to it, I did not do like a, a rolled hem on the serger. I did, I surged it, I tucked it under, and I did a 3 8 inch seam allowance in every case. I did the same. Like I said, it was really boring sewing. I think fringe would have been adorable down the side of these. I do think that um, this is just me. I have a hard time putting a lot of attention to the bottom. Just because I just don't think that's where our focus should be, that's just me. Remember, this is just me now. <laughs> I love these, but that's because there's a black top, this little necklace even has gold in it. I just think that is just really smart looking. But to go and put a bunch of fringe and really focus on the pants is not, so, it's not something I would wear. And so this is kind of selfish, I guess, well, actually when I stop and think about it, because I decided I really wanted to wear them. For me, I really like wearing the stuff I'm making. But I do think fringe is so popular right now, and I'm surprised I didn't find a pair that had fringe down the front, because it'd be so cute to just add a strip of knit fabric in there and just fringe it all out. I think it'd be adorable. But again, it's a lot of attention to the bottom. Okay, Where are the pattern would lay out the different colors? Where on the pattern would lay out the different colors? All right, so let's go back to this one, because I did it in different colors. The front is the white. The, there's only two pattern pieces. Let's go back to those pattern pieces and look at those for a minute, if you don't mind. Yeah. See, that, that's the pattern. There's a front. There's a back. There's two pieces that make the waistband. And then there's a tie. I didn't even put the tie on any of them, simply because in, in my looking at how I was going to make the whole entire garment, a tie did not come in. Like even this one where I knew I was going to wear it a dressier and I thought I'd wear like this. This is pattern 201. It's a little shawl. Um, I knew I would wear, it had a tie already. So the tie for me, I wanted it to be part of the top, not a part of the pant. So like for this one, if this one had a tie, I felt like it would just be more bulky at the waist than what I wanted. So I'm only dealing with four pattern pieces. The front, the back, and the two waistband pieces. That's it. This is a really simple pattern. So in this case, the front is the white and the back is the black. That's it. It's as hard as it gets. So what I would suggest is you just make the pattern through one time and then just decide how you want those colors to factor in. And then once you understand the pattern, you'll really be able to start creating and having a bunch of fun on your own. What is the Cardi on the black and white outfit? This Cardi, this is just a, a purchased Cardi. I don't have, I don't have a, a pattern like it. It's just like a sweater set, 195, just left open and cut long is all it is. I just use it sometimes to just, um, I mean, I, I had Cardis that I had made. I had shirts that I had made. But I just wanted something really open, like what I have on, except that I've already used this one, so I wanted another one. Have the POMs shipped? Yes, the POMs always ship on the 10th of the month. 
I shouldn't say always, but pretty much every month we ship on the 10th. And this month was no exception. We shipped on the 10th, so you should have them any day, if not already. Are we good? All right, you guys, no questions. All right, so we got a couple little surprises for you. We gave up patterns. We're gonna do a sew along on Saturday. Here at the store, we're gonna do a sew along, um, 11 o'clock. We're gonna make 3413, which is a pair of pants. So that'd be fun. I we haven't made a pair of pants in a long time. And these are the, called the five piece pocketed yoga pant. So we've got some really fun fabrics coming up for you. You can make them different colors. They're just really, just a great little pattern. So 3413, and we are pushing to get our PBS dollars raised. You all know that. But we keep pushing, and we'll keep pushing because we're about halfway, you guys. We're really, we're actually doing pretty good. We're about halfway there. So our pre-sales of Series 1100, that's where we need your support. And we really appreciate it. So we thought we'd do a sew along this Saturday, and we will be here doing a sew along. Okay, do you think scuba would work with this pattern? Um, I do not. So there's a scuba that I just put up. It's a pink scuba, or kind of a reddish. It's a reddish. And it matches really well to this border. And it'd be really cute just for a little top. But it would not work well with this pant. I appreciate you all asking. It's just a little bit. Um, scuba doesn't really have, for the most part, scuba doesn't really have any drape. And you really want a fabric that drapes well for this particular pant. Even though this um, this one, whoops, behind me, I'll keep going. This one doesn't have a lot of drape. It's really light, but I think scuba is just, maybe it's too thick. Maybe both, but I, I wouldn't, I would say, mm. okay, any other questions? <laughs> All right. So I'll just talk a little bit about our calendar. So for, we're filming in two weeks. Um, we are excited and thrilled and scared and nervous and can I tell you a little bit about it? Let me t tell you a little bit about it. So you guys know I've been a little obsessive about how to, how I, there's a couple things that I'm, I feel like I'm teaching you that we're just not getting it. <laughs> I don't mean that mean because I, I think it's my fault. I think that I'm just not teaching it well. If I was teaching it well, everybody would get it across the board. So I keep thinking about how can I rework it and how can I reteach it. So one, the one topic on that is pants. So there's no misinterpretation. And I'm doing, uh, you know, I can't give too much away, but I'm doing a pillowcase version of the top on pants. <gasps> and I'm really excited about this, you guys. It's like so good. Okay. <laughs> um, then the other thing I'm, I'm really excited about is fabric and pattern combinations. Because I, you know, look, this series is your questions, our answers. You guys have given me great questions. They've been great questions. And we're answering many of them, not all of them, but we're really, and if you have any more, like, send them to me. Because we could, I, I have great people who could, you know, we could probably incorporate them still, incorporate them still. But anyway, so the designer who designed um, Laura Bush's inauguration dress, Michael Faircloth, is going to be on the show specifically talking about fabric pattern combinations. And I'm just, so, he's such a talent. He's, such, he's been such a joy to get to know and work with. And I'm really excited that he's going to be on the show. And then there's a guy talking about polyester and these modern polyesters and why they breathe and how they breathe and how they do it and how it works. And, I'm very excited about that. Interfacings, elastics, we're, and I'm, you know, here's the thing, you guys. All along, I've always wanted to bring you information that was point on, spot on, you know, just correct. And so I don't think I'm on a show by myself in almost the whole entire series because you already know my opinions. And I don't want to give you my opinions. I want to give you the opinions that are absolutely for sure current and correct. <laughs> and that doesn't mean my opinions aren't, but I've really called in a guy who all he does is sell elastic. And he knows all the different kinds and what they're used for. And you know, I, I want to hear all that. I use one kind of elastic. I don't think you want to, I think there's a broader answer that we can give you about elastics when you ask for that. And so that's what we're doing. 
we're doing um, a wedding dress. We're doing some difficult work on a wedding dress so that if you try to alter wedding dresses or if that's your business, we can help you do that. And that's Natalie, and she's a Ukrainian lady who helped us before hem a jacket sleeve, and it was impeccable the way she did it. We're going to have her work on wedding dresses. We've gotten a lot of questions about wedding dresses, and so we felt like that was really important. Um, we're doing a dress form. We're padding a dress form. We're showing you how to do that. Gosh, there's just so many fun things that we're doing. Your questions are answers, and it's really given us a great opportunity to um, to do a lot of different subjects, but we, we do need your support. We need you to buy that series, and you get the free pattern when you buy the series, and you know it's always a discount now, so it's a great thing to do, but we are really excited. I joined late, but if you eliminate the tie, how do you secure the front of the pants? That's a really good question. The front of the pants, we didn't answer that, even if you'd gotten here early, so the front of the pants are sewn into the waistband. So here's the front, and here's the front. I guess I could go back to this one. Uh, the waistband has nothing to do, the, the waistband is, fur, is purely decorative. It has nothing to do with keeping the pants closed. Um, it is simply decorative. So they, they secure into the waistband. So you can leave the tie off if you opt to. What's the fabric number for the leopard? The leopard is, hmm, um, Good question. Hmm, how come I don't have that? This one right here. I don't have it. It's brand new up. Um, I don't have it on my sheet of paper. Oh, we got it. 50, you guys are so good. 54.95. 54.95. I'm standing here. We're in the fabric store, and I keep looking. I'm going to grab this fabric because it's so cute. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this adorable? This would be really cute too. It's a little ity. It's like a brushed ity, which is what this is too. This would be just a little. This is the gold tones, and this is the more beige tones. But anyway, that's not up yet, so I shouldn't even show that to you. That's at the store of fabrics. Okay, five four nine five. Right, we got that. Okay, what else? Any other questions you have? We might go eat pizza early tonight. <laughs> we are really excited. You know, this time when we get this close to PBS and filming, I, I just I always think about, gosh, it's just going to be so exciting when it's over. <laughs> you know, hate to admit that, but there's just, oh, the days are so busy and they're so full and they're just crazy, crazy. But anyway, it's all good. It's all good. All right, so you got it all? Go make a pair of pants. Go make a pair of wrap pants. And again, see, they're just too cute. You can show a little leg, no leg. You can show as much as you want. Or you can stitch them down, OK? All right. So we're going to see you on Saturday. We'll sew the pair of pants. We'll be here at the store. And until then, happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns. Thanks for being here. Bye.